everyone. Today's art journal prompt is Q-tips. I want you to um, use Q-tips somewhere in your mixed media page. You can either, you know, create a whole page using them, um, you know, or just use them as an accent. It is entirely up to you how you decide to interpret this. Um, I'm working on my usual piece of mixed media paper and what I am going to do, I've got some chalk pastels here. I haven't used them in a while. Um, I think these are really fun to play with. Mine are the inscribe pastels. I've got 64 colours. They're just soft chalk pastels. Um, and I think they were about seven, seven or eight pounds for, for the for the box. Now I've decided to use three different shades. I'm using a medium grey, a dark grey and a white. And I'm just randomly putting the colours down on the page using the flat side of the chalk pastel. Um, going quite lightly I don't want um, too heavy a coverage here and I just keep going over with all three of the colours until I'm happy um, with with how it looks uh, what I'm trying to get here is sort of we get grey weather here in the UK as you've heard me talk about before you know very very few blue skies <laughs> um, and you know especially at this time of year this is very representative of the, the the sky at this time of of year and that's what I'm trying to achieve so I'm rubbing those chalk pastels with my fingers now just to blend all of those colours um, together um, and then just adding more pigment um, where where I think it needs needs it and then rubbing um, again but I'm looking for a light effect here now I want to add a tree to my background um, and I decide to draw a basic tree shape with a pencil to start off with um, just so that I've got something to work with and of course if it went wrong then you know I could have could have gone gone over it and now I'm um, adding more detail using a brown alcohol marker any alcohol marker will work for, for this you could use sharpie um, anything but you do need something permanent really um, acrylic paint would have worked but I just felt that um, an alcohol marker would be easier um, for my poor drawing skills. Um, and so I'm just adding uh, details, taking my time as well, just to make sure that um, I get the shape right. Um, filling in the, um, the, the tree trunk here. And then I just, um, once I'm happy with how that looks, I just add more details um, on the branches. Another branch here on the left hand side, filling it out towards the trunk as well. And just playing around with this until I am happy with the overall shape. Adding more branches um, really loosely here. So nice, nice and easy, nothing complicated. Of course, if you've got a stamp um, or a branch stencil, then, you know, that would be absolutely perfect for, for, for this. I didn't have one, and so um, I've had to draw it by hand. You could also photocopy onto your background as well if um, you don't feel confident um, enough to draw it. But if I can draw it, you can too. Mark my words. <laughs> Now I'm happy with the shape of my tree and so I'm going to add some colour with my Q-tips. I put um, half a dozen or so bundles together um, with anything between five and six and sort of eight and nine um, little Q-tips bundled together with um, a, a very small elastic band. And I'm starting off from my light colours and getting gradually deeper. So here you can see me using some um, cad yellow. Um, and I'm, I'm adding it to the trees and some fallen leaves on the ground as well. And then here I'm using the other end of the Q-tip now just to add um, a slightly deeper yellow. And I'm just really pressing lightly with these Q-tips as well. Um, next I am using some um, yellow iron oxide, which I think is a really pretty colour. And as I say, just getting, you know, gradually darker and then flipping over and coming in with some gold. I thought gold would look really pretty on this page too and just add a, a nice sheen. And so I just keep building up those leaves as and where I think um, it needs it. Next I'm adding some quinacridone gold. Um, again, this is just a really beautiful colour, very autumnal. And again, not um, forgetting to add some falling leaves as well to the ground and um, giving the impression that the leaves are falling down. 
Um, this colour here is quinacridone violet, um, which is just absolutely beautiful and, and reminds me of the maple leaves that um, I was drying the other day. And now I'm repeating the colours all over again, starting off with the lightest colour first, that lovely light yellow, and just working my way through the colours and then giving it a good dry before I add some green gold. Now I'm using primarily Deco Art Media Fluid Acrylics um, for this, um, but you can use any kind of um, acrylics that, that you have. So as you can see, I've just kept building up um, the layers. Um, I don't know, this video so far is at just over five minutes. This has taken me best part of an hour um, already. But you know, a lot of that is, is preparation and me dithering over what supplies and things I'm going to use. Um, but I just absolutely love how this looks. Let me just hold it up. And if I tilt it, I don't know whether you can see the shimmer. Um, from that gorgeous gold. I just love that. Um, now you might notice that the grey has um, toned down. It's probably rubbed off slightly um, but it is still there. Can you see? Um, and I'm not sure whether I want to darken that or not. So what I'm going to do to start off with is add my border. I'm going to use some of the iced spruce um, and I've also got some of the walnut stain as well because of course I've got the brown in the page and so I'm just going to add um, a border using the iced spruce first and I'm going to add quite a thick layer. Um, I want to really sort of add some depth to the to the border of the page and I should probably go over this a couple of times sort of putting on a thicker layer to start off with and then fading um, it, it out and so as soon as I've done that this is all I'm doing and um, then I shall come back and as my sponge starts to run out of ink I'm just going to go back over and try and get it um, to a deeper a deeper layer and then I'll do the same round all the sides and you see already that's made a massive difference. And I've said this to you before, but I just find when you're not sure what you want to do next um, and you're nearly at the finishing stage, add your border first because it sort of draws your eye, pulls your eye into the page and um, it just gives you a little bit more, more focus. Now you can see, now that I've put the grey, uh, the ice spruce around the edge, it would have been so easy to have jumped straight in there with um, some more of the chalk. And at this stage, I'm not really sure um, that, that it needs it because I just want the main focus to be sort of all the beautiful colours on that tree. Um, so I'm just going to add another layer of Distress Oxides, this time using Walnut Stain. Um, you know how I like my um, double, double layers. And again, it just sort of darkens it and um, just adds a really nice touch. So I've added both borders now, the iced spruce and the walnut stain, and I just love how that looks, but I still feel that it needs something else. I don't want to add any more of the chalk because um, I just really like how that um, white looks, that pale background looks. So I've decided to add some splatters with the gold. So I've got my focal fo folk art gold enamel paint and I've watered some down just to my right hand side and I'm just going to splatter some on. I'm going to cut, try and go gently and I think that would just be enough. Just a few splatters like, like that. Oh just so pretty isn't that just gorgeous. I just love it. I always say that, don't I? So pretty, so pretty. <laughs> right, don't overdo it, Nina. Just a few on the... There we are. Right, so I'm going to leave that to dry um, and then I just need to add my quote and add it to my book. And so here's my finished page. Um, I'm so happy with this. I know it's just, you know, incredibly simple just using Q-tips, but I, I just love it. I think it's stunning. Um, I ended up adding a third border. Couldn't resist, couldn't help myself. Um, I added a layer of the gold paint. So it was the gold um, enamel paint. And if I tilt it, I don't know whether you're going to be able to see that. Um, but I just thought it went with the gold splatters and the gold that's um, on the on the tree itself those gold leaves um, and that's just really added something to me very very subtle and I just used I just tapped the edge of the paper using the makeup sponge to apply that I've added my quote all the trees are losing their leaves and not one of them is worried which I just thought went really well with the page um, and I've just edged that in the two colors of distress oxide so iced spruce and then walnut stain on top and and that's it um, 
So I look forward to seeing how everybody else decides to interpret um, this week's prompt, Q-tips, cotton swabs. Um, I'm going to leave the link to a few videos in the description box below because the Art Sherpa has got several videos um, where she's created, um, where she does paintings um, with um, Q-tips. She's got a fantastic um, dandelion, a beautiful wisteria, a lilac um, that she's done as well. I'm also going to leave the link to one of Jay Lee's um, videos um, Jay Lee specialises in watercolour paintings and he's got a fantastic one with, I think it was a lilac, but very, very simple um, page, but very, very effective. And also I'm going to um, leave the link to um, one of Angela Anderson's videos. She's got a couple on her channel. She's got a lavender and a beautiful um, hanging flower um, arrangement, which is gorgeous. So that might just give you some, some more ideas. Um, but if you like what I've created here, as always, I'd really appreciate it if you would give me a thumbs up because it just lets YouTube know that you like what I'm doing and of course let me know what you think of, of this in the comments below I always hear, love to hear what you've got to say um, and so take care everyone I'll see you all again soon bye for now